Okay, so uh, I've had my switch kit fitted for about 10 days now, uh, and it's been, it's been great. Uh, the weather has been awful, uh, generally, and uh, I've been out a lot of the time in the rain, as you'll see here. So the, the sun is shining today though, and uh, I've been thinking about a test that I wanted to do, which was with the throttle control, which I've now got fitted, I want to, wanted to see uh, what speeds the pedal assist goes up to. I did something similar on my wife's Pendleton bike, uh, and basically the pedal assist modes just take you up to a certain miles per hour. Uh, and then if you go beyond that, they cut out. Uh, so you can choose what pedal assist fits your riding. Now I would say I normally ride uh, to and from work at probably about 15 miles an hour. Uh, that's about the average sort of speed on this single speed bike. Uh, maybe a bit faster on my geared bike. Uh, and so uh, if you use different pedal assist, that you can work out what works best for you. Uh, and I wanted to address uh, something that uh, I've been asked and also I've read in lots of forums and comments uh, about how far you go and why you don't get as many miles out of your switch kit or, or any other electric bike. Uh, and it's, uh, there's a brilliant article on the switch website. And the article, and I'll put a link in the description to it, uh, but the article is titled, How much range will I get? How far can I ride? So I bought the 25 mile kit, uh, which is, uh, is a five amp hour uh, battery with that one. And uh, I can definitely get more than that um, but also I can get a lot less than that. And in this article, it kind of tells you, um, so they talk about hilly terrain, uh, if you don't put the pedaling in, so if you're, especially if you're under pedaling, uh, and I did this when I tested the Pendleton bike, uh, I had to, uh, we had it for a couple of months over summer, and I took it back to my, uh, to our friend's house, uh, and it's about 10 or 11 miles away um, and I under pedaled almost all the way uh, and so the bike did all the work and uh, and obviously that's an inefficient way because I think that bike they quote 50 miles uh, and it was nowhere near that the way I was using it but if I put it on a lower mode went slower uh, used tried to uh, work with the motor rather than under pedaling and make the work motor do all the work then I would have got the sort of mileage that I was looking for um, so they talk about uh, the type of bike you put it on as well. Now obviously this has got knobbly tyres, it's not the lightest bike. If you were to put it on a very lightweight road bike with uh, slick tyres, then obviously it's going to be less wind resistant, it's going to be lighter. Um, and also if you've got gears, then you can use the gears to work with you as well. And, uh, and you can the, the beauty of these kits uh, and any e-bike is that you use it when you need to use it. So, and especially with this lighter kit, it doesn't really impact the bike. Uh, this bike doesn't really feel that different to ride. I forget about it being on there. When I've got it, uh, so it's switched on, but it's on a low pedal assist mode, so it's not really cutting in at all, because pedal assist one, I think it's less than four miles an hour. Um, but we'll see that later in the video, because I'm gonna take this to a car park, uh, and I'm gonna test the different pedal assist modes with the throttle, and see what speeds they take you up to. Uh, which I think will be interesting or interesting for me anyway. Um, so, and they talk about, they can't really tell you about uh, the mileage that you'll get, but they can tell you how many hours. So they can tell you uh, how many hours at a particular setting, because obviously the uh, the battery is be or the motor is running at a certain level. If it's constant and it's on, uh, you know, flat terrain and it's ideal uh, situation, then that, that bike is gonna, they'll tell you how long it's gonna run for. But there's so many variables in this and it, and it really is down to how much your pedaling is the, is the key and how much wind there is and, and everything else and the weight and all that. But, uh, but the reality is uh, it's just a guide. Uh, you can get more out of it if you work harder. Um, but if you're buying, say, say you've got an injury and you, you know that you struggle to, to cycle a certain distance, uh, just bear that in mind if you're thinking about going a certain distance uh, on a particular kit that you will have to put some work in, but it does make it a whole lot easier. Um, you can go many more miles on an electric bike uh, because it's just, it's so easy to do. Um, but it's all about how much work you put in. But have a look at the article if you want more detail on it. Um, but hope that helps. I, I wanted to try and simplify it rather than give 
any detail or science or anything like that. So let's, uh, I think what we'll have to do now is get out in the sunshine and, uh, and try the, this kit. So the mode I've got at the moment and the mode I'll start testing it with will be uh, with throttle control when I get down to where I'm gonna do the test. It's a lovely flat surface, it's very, very smooth tarmac. Uh, and I'm gonna basically just put the throttle on on each different pedal assist mode uh, and see what speed it gets up to. So this currently is set to a speed limit of 40 kilometers an hour, which is about 32 miles per hour. It can't get to that level because it's a 250 watt motor um, and, and uh, you know, without the pedal assist it's not gonna get to that level. Um, but, uh, but yeah, let's get outside and give it a try. Okay, so I've mounted my GoPro uh, using a handlebar mount which came uh, in a kit which I got from Amazon and I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description for that. And this also, this extender bar came from eBay which was a couple of quid. So I've got my GoPro on here. So now for this test, you're gonna be able to see what's on the display, uh, but also you can see what's ahead. All right, let's go. Okay, so pedal assist one, and I'll do throttle control now. Okay, so let's turn around. I'll do it the same direction because of the sun. So I'll go away from the sun. And uh, so that was pedal assist one, two, and three. And this bike isn't set to 15.5. It's set to uh, up to 32 miles per hour. Um, but I'm gonna change it back to, oh, I just slowed down a bit and the pedal assist kicked in then. Okay, so let's go up to pedal assist four, do the same thing. I started to pedal then, I forgot about it. Right, so this is all throttle control. So pedal assist four, about 11.3. Pedal assist five, throttle only. Points, yeah, it looks like it's maxed out. 13.7 it got to. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to pedal assist six, but I'm gonna give it a bit of a pedal to start off with, because otherwise I'm gonna run, uh, run out of space before I get to the end, because I wanna find out what speed it slows at. Right, throttle only now. Fifteen point seven. So seven. I'll do the same. I'll pedal first of all. Get it up to maybe ten. And now throttle only. So what we got? Sixteen point eight. Seventeen. Seventeen point one. Seventeen. Point, <laughs> I can't run out of space. <laughs> so about seventeen point five. Okay, so throttle assist eight. Might wait for the vehicles to be out of the way. Ooh. So throttle on now. So 19.3 maybe. I, t I probably need to do the longer speed test, the faster speed test on a longer straight. So let's whack it to the max. So pedal assist nine, I think, when I was at home, I think it went and did about, well in fact, let's just lift the wheel up and see what it does.
Yeah, so 22.3. I don't think I'm going to have enough room to be able to get that sort of pace. So throttle control now. Yeah, not enough space. Okay, so 25 is what I need to change it to to make it UK legal, so let's do that. Press and hold. Right, so now, under pedal assist 9, it should only go a maximum of 15.5. Okay, throttle on now. Sixteen, but probably that's about right. Unless let's go one down. Let's go for twenty four. Okay, so throttle on. Yeah, that's cutting in and out. So, I mean, that's too slow now. That, that lives about 14, so I think it was probably right where it was. Leave it at 25. There you go. So now, that's the legal kit, even though it says 20 miles an hour on there. I've set it back to the right limit. Okay, so that's how you set it to the uh, legal speed limit in the UK, which is 15.5 miles an hour, which is quite appropriate. So let's do those tests. Now we're set to the right level. Let's do those tests again. So throttle only. On pedal assist one, 4.6. Pedal assist two. Seven, pedal assist three. Nine point one, nine point two. So we know we can go up to nine. So throttles are. 10.2. See, pedal assist 4 is quite a good, good limit to go on because you know 11 miles an hour is a reasonable speed for like cycle pass and, and just something like a gentle cycle. So, pedal assist 5. I'm pedaling at the moment. Uh, throttle control only. That's going about 15, so what I'll do is lift the wheel up. See what it cuts out at. It's weird because it got up to 20 then. Yeah, so that's 15.2, so that could go up, just one setting. Oh, 
Pedalist S9. So now, as long as I'm not in using the throttle control uh, and I'm pedal assisting, the bike is completely street legal. Okay, so as you can see, when the bike is set to the legal limit for the UK, uh, pedal assistance levels 7, 8 and 9 do exactly the same thing and all the lower levels stay the same regardless of what your top speed is set to. Anyway, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.